Hey everyone, it's World Film Geek here, and today we have the second of the two interviews for the film Night of the Sicario. I interviewed Manny Perez, a respected film and TV actor who takes on the main antagonist role of the Sicario, Leon. The film comes out tomorrow. Enjoy the interview. Hey Manny, how you doing? Hello. Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, I gotta tell you, I saw Night of the Sicario just the other day, and it was such a great movie. It was very tense, and it was very action-packed at the same time, and you did a great job in that oh. film. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good, good to know. Good to hear that. So, my first question is, what, um, what, how did you get approached for the role? Well, you know, I, I worked with a producer on, on another film way back so he called me on this one and I was like and he told me who's going to be in it and I'm a big fan of, of Natasha Hendridge I've had a, a crush on her for the longest time I'm like oh, I want to be part of this <laughs> and, then, and then working with her was amazing she's really uh, just she's an amazing actress and, uh, and I also enjoyed the director's work I followed him on the first day the first day uh, so it was great to work with him you know on set that's awesome, and um, another actor who's really good in it was Costas Mandalore. You know, I, I'm a big fan of his all as well as Natasha. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. And you know, yeah, great, yeah. amazing, amazing guy too, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, amazing guy. What I really, I was talking with Joth the other day, the director of the film. I, I was talking to him the other day, and I, you know, I was telling him, like the the one thing I really loved about the film is the characterizations. Like it, it's not two dimensional. Like there was more depth to the characters. And so, how did you approach that to bring that your character to have this more human side to things, even though he's considered the bad guy of the film? Exactly. Well, it's funny, you know, when I wrote the script, I, I first spoke to the director, and we had a long conversation about what I liked about the film. And, and, I, and, and I tell you, what I liked about the film is that, you know, it has a touch of this, everyone is, is losing or doubting their fate. So I was like, what if we give that element as well to uh, Leon? Like, Leon has also had doubts in, in the past or has, has lost his faith in the past. Why don't we add that to it? And I, again, uh, as an actor, I'm always trying to uh, just make these stereotypical characters that I play as a Latino, mm-hmm. make them human, make them real, make them like, okay, well, I understand where this man is coming from. Mm-hmm. So that uh, was a conversation that I had with with, with the director in regards to this, and, and it's it great because he listened and he added those elements elements to the scene. So uh, you know, and, and that is an actor I love. Yeah, and you know, and that's what I liked. Uh, this is what I really liked about the film. It's that that one little notion. You know, when you see Latino characters played on TV, you know, you got the stereotypes. You know, and here he's a mercenary. He's he's a you know he's, he works for the drug cartel. But at the same time, there's something more to it. And what worked is that chemistry between you and Natasha's character. Because you two have this, despite the fact that you're on opposite sides of the law, you have this sort of respect for each other because of the fact that you come from virtually some something similar. Where you're both flawed, but you know, and that's what works in this film. Exactly. No, you, yeah, exactly. You, and, 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 that's, and that's what I loved about the film and working with her as well. Uh, again, we, we have this respect towards each other as actors, and, uh, and, and, and that sort of shows, you know, um, on, well, it showed on set when we were working. So mm-hmm. hopefully it does show on, on, on the film. Oh, it, it definitely did. I thought it did. <laughs> I hope people agree with me on that, because it really did. Um, so were there any challenges that you had to, that you faced during shooting? Um, you know, the director said it was, you know, it was pr- probably one of the smoothest shoots he's ever done, but, you know, there was the typical budgetary things and, you know, whatnot. But w- what about you as an actor? Was there anything, like, you felt like you could have done better or you could have done differently or you just felt, well, I-, I did it? <laughs> well, two things, no, two things for me. Um, I think one of the challenges for me was being mean or, you know, playing the character uh, and confronting these elderly that were in the film, and yeah. that was hard to do, uh, just because there's a moment, uh, hello? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a moment where I scream at this elderly lady, oh, yeah. and that's just hard to do, I mean, that's very hard to do. Uh, 
um, just because she reminded me of my mom, you know. Oh, yeah. And uh, and also and also working on set where you're getting wet and it's cold outside. Mm -hmm. That's also uh, a challenge uh, as an actor. But other than that, uh, we had an amazing time, and it was one location, um, so that I enjoyed, and it was one pair of clothes that we had, and that I enjoyed as an actor. Yeah, and I, I remember it like. Um, yeah, the scene, the scene where you yell at the lady, you know, that did remind. If I, I'll tell you this, I'm Latino too, and if I yelled at my mom like that, she, my, my mom would have hit me, <laughs> you know. But no, you know, <laughs> you know, so exactly. she would have, exactly. she would have, yeah, she would have whipped my tail. But yeah, but I could to, like totally see where you're coming from with that because it's just it, that's that's. I mean, that must have been hard. Happen. Yeah. Well, it, Oh my oh, god! Wow. I just imagine like what, how you had to mentally prepare for that. I'm like, I could just picture how difficult that had to yeah. have been. No, no, of course, and that's just it, it, you know. And, and again, I, I we did the scene, and then I I went in hard to after the work because I don't want it to feel you know uh, we, we, we have another three weeks together. Yeah, I wanted to feel welcome. So after I did the scene, the first day I went in hard to like, I'm like, please let me hug you because. That was hard to do. <laughs> <It> was. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome! That's crazy, and um, yeah. So the, the movie was really good, and I liked. You know, like I said, this is what I like about indie films these days. You know, you got the big studio films, and but it seems like a lot of them just have the two dimensional characters nowadays. You know, it's like indie films now. They're they're becoming more, you know, dynamic. They're bringing more human a humanistic side to things and you don't really get to see that with these big hollywood films and that's why i have such respect for the indie film circuit and you know this is one example that really did well gotcha well me too you know i i enjoy doing indie films more than the few hollywood films that i've done just because with indie films they you, you become part of the process they, they let you improvise you can talk to the director you can add to the character change in the, in the script that mm -hmm. doesn't happen with a big Hollywood budget film. It just doesn't happen. No, we no, we've, yeah, we've heard we've heard the horror stories lately with that. But um, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what I like about indie films. The, the the director lets you do your thing. You know, it's like if this works, if this is how you want to do it, give it a shot. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you know, we'll try something else. And I know there's always the yeah. budget and time, the budget and time constraints. But somehow, with these indie filmmakers, they just manage to pull it off. Exactly, and that's the beautiful thing about doing these uh, indies. And, and again, you know, with indies, you always, I'm always learning something new about the craft, about the industry, about the script, about writing, about, you know, and, and, it, and that's the beautiful thing about being part of indies, you know. Mm -hmm. Is that something you should have more? Yeah, is that something you want? Because you mentioned you just mentioned uh, writing and all that. Is that something you're, you're pursuing now? Like, you want to become a screenwriter or. You've done stuff yet, or that you want to just like unleash? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I've done actually. I've written about four scripts that I produced and uh, and gotten released. So and I and I continue doing that. I actually uh, directed a film uh, a month, three days. I mean, three weeks prior to the pandemic. So that hopefully that film comes out at the end of this year. Mm -hmm. So it's something. That, uh, <laughs> Interesting. Cool. So. uh Besides that film, was there any other new projects that you can talk about before? Uh, we, I have another film that comes out May 7th. Mm -hmm. Also, the uh, 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 Sabin film. Mm -hmm. They're releasing it. Um, and that's another uh, amazing story is that, as well. Is that we the, shot prior to the pandemic. Is that the Waterman? Does, does that happen to be the Waterman? No. no. It's another one? No, that's called Locked In. Locked In. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll definitely have to check that one out for sure. Yeah, please do. It's, uh, and also, a uh, cop engine, uh, uh, which is interesting. That's awesome. So, Night of the yeah. Sicario is coming out on April 16th, and this is a great...